Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to discuss about the 80 commands of GSM module which are most relevantly dealing with call control. Let's get started. So basically in the previous video we just learned how we can store a mobile number into the phone book of sim card that is the non-volatile memory of sim card and then we retrieved the phone number that has been stored inside the non-volatile memory of the sim card and now we are just going to learn how we can dial or how we can call to a particular number from our gsm module so for that we just want to use this atd command for dialing a particular number we are just going to use this command atd let us just create the sequence for that i am just erasing all these things let it be let it be like this because i am just going to call this later on in this video so i am just going to create the sequence for that atd double quotes i just want to provide the mobile number so this plus 91 is the area code and this is my mobile number that I want to call. So this is the SIM card that I have loaded inside the mobile phone and finally I just want to terminate it along with 0D0A as usual. So you can see this is the sequence that I want to provide for calling or for dialing a number ATD within double quotes you just want to provide the mobile number along with the local pin code and finally you just want to terminate it and after the termination you just want to provide this carriage return as usual and now i am just establishing the connection and i am sending the command at i got the response ok and now when i want to call to this number which has been loaded inside the mobile phone i am just going to send this command atd of mobile number terminate of carriage return sorry i just made a mistake So what you want to write is ATD of mobile number plus 918015. So this is the number that I want to dial and finally I just want to terminate it and after the termination as usual we just want to provide 0D0A. And that's all about the command that we want to use for dialing a particular number from this GSM module. So this is the AT command required for dialing a particular number from our GSM module. Now when I send this command AT, you can see I got the response OK. Now when I send this command for dialing this number uh, which I have loaded in the mobile phone, you can see I got the response OK and here is my mobile phone and this is my json module you can see the call has been made and for terminating the mobile call you can see this is the command for terminating the calling process so i am just going to create a sequence for this ATH. finally i just want to give 0d0a now when i give ATH. You can see the call has been terminated it has been mentioned as a missed call so in this manner you can dial a particular number and you can terminate a call which is in process with the help of this ath command so this is the command for dialing a particular number and this one is the command for terminating a call which is on process and now finally we are just going to learn this is the AT command for answering a call when the call is happening when the SIM card that is available in the JSM module is receiving a call ring, ring response will be given right over here. So for attending that call 
if you provide this ata the call will be attended and for dialing a number which has been preloaded in the sim card memory that is in the non volatile memory we can use this at command that is atd of greater than the name that you have stored so in the previous video i hope you remember this we have stored this number that is the same number that we that we dialed just before in the name of sm academy so this is the name you can clearly see this is the name so i am just going to call the same name from the phone book of the sim card using this command so let me just show you how you can call the number with the help of this command atd greater than of with double quotes just type in sm academy the only thing is you just want to use the same name that in which you have stored the contact in your sim memory and finally after this i just want to give 0 to 0 a now let me just test whether the call is happening from the phone memory that is the phone book of the sim memory now i just forgot one thing that is i just want to terminate this and finally i just want to provide 0 to 0 a and that's all about the command you can see atd greater than of within the double course you just want to provide the phone book name store to the contact number and finally after that you just want to terminate it and finally you just want to provide the carriers return now when i send this what happens is the phone book name with this sm training academy which has been stored in the sim card non volatile memory will be dialed you can see the response ok has been given from the json modem that means the call is being made so here is the call you can see the call has been made from the gsm modem from the phone book memory of the sim card i'm just terminating this call you can see the call has been terminated so now i hope you got a clear understanding of the call commands that is the call control commands in this json module See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.